welcome to our episode of Super Action Rose. I'm Chris. I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the official trailer for the, um, I guess PBS. We'll see if for suffice to say. Masterpiece PBS. This PBS Masterpiece Limited series, uh, miniseries pretty much, Around the World in 80 Days. Um, the very well-known story mm -hmm. about um, German adventure Phileas Fogg as he tries to prove to his cohorts that he can journey around the world in 80 days. Yes. Um, we've seen kind of a few adaptations of this there's film. A bit, there's been a bunch of adaptations. The last one we got, though, was with... Um, it was uh, Steve Coogan and Jackie Chan. Mm -hmm. um, that was, I, I thought that was enjoyable that for was the most part. But it was what it was. Mm -hmm. um, this one has David Tennant in the main role. Yes. And... It's pretty much the plot. Of the, if you heard plot of the original book or have seen the Jack and Chan one, you pretty much get what the plot of this is, except in a mini series format. Yeah, so let's just dive in and take a look at this real quick into an official preview into Around the World in 80 Days. Here we go. <laughs> Phileas Fogg. Fogg. The adventurer. Well, yes, I suppose. Mm -hmm. So this must be my companions, Abigail Fix, journalist. I'm here to cover your progress for the Daily Telegraph. What? No. Oh, no. And you. Someone trying to kill you? No. No. Yes. You're going to circumnavigate the globe in 80 days. <laughs> Some are born to adventure, and others, frankly, Second. Nice. It's cool to see David Tennant pretty much in this role. I think he, he would do it just right because it's it's like here they're, with PBS, dude. It sounds like they're looking. It looks like they're going more closely to the book as much that. Yeah, can. this um this show's already aired in the UK. Yeah. PBS is picking up for American distribution, pretty much. Yeah, and that's what I said. This one looks like it's uh, huh. this this version looks like it's more closely related to the book itself. That's close. Oh, uh, looks fun. They still have the humor yeah. with uh you know with his character with Phileas Fogg here and there where he's like not a hundred percent like a full on adventure but he's doing it anyways and it's like mm -hmm. this him trying to get used to outdoors and just the you know the world that's out there uh looks fun i love david Tennant. that's all i gotta say about it now, honestly that's it because it's it's not exactly the most difficult of plots to do well no i know that but that's what i said compared to the last few we've been getting they were being just more focused heavily on like the comedic elements of the, like, stuff like that here that's why i said you watch this this preview they have for it and you can tell from it it's like okay they're really pulling straight from the book itself because yeah. you know it's like it's, it's like it's not comedy everywhere it's just where it's necessary here and there or you know especially for his character just trying to get through it and trying to get you know get to the other side and just Try not get to get too many flies in his eyes or a bee in his eye or something, yeah. you know. But like you said, it doesn't look too bad. I definitely, we'll be watching it. Uh, just a, fa a fan of the story, you know. The, always enjoy every interpretation you can from this type of story. And this, I can't wait to see. So, other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about shows like this, hit the subscribe button down below. And hit that bell icon as well. Mini series like this. Uh, but let us know what you guys' thoughts are on this uh, this special preview, at least. You know, are you a fan of the uh, original story of Jules Verne's uh, uh, interpretation of Around the World? Well, not its interpretation, but at least his story overall. That's what I meant. Um, you know, and, you know, do you have any favorites that really stand out? Are you more of, like, the comedic side of things? Or are you, like, more straight up to the story, straight from the source itself, which looks like this is this is coming, coming straight from? I mean, you know, if you've seen it already, you know, 
let us know what you guys thoughts are, uh, are on it you know you guys enjoy it you guys have fun with it is a good is it definitely a good watch um you know, late night watch or just a good watch overall. I need to stop saying watch. Uh, but that was just of our reaction overall to this uh, trailer. But most importantly, we thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Chris. And I'm Chris. And it's been a very 80 days full episode of SRB. See ya. Later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out any of our previous reactions, as well as one of our other SRB shows, check out one of the playlists down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and start us at Super React Bros. As well as on Facebook at Super Reaction Bros.